This is where each of these objects would melt. The vinyl record would be the first to melt at around 105 degrees. Oh well, wasn't really her best work anyways. Next is Barbie. These days she's made of ABS, which actually means she no longer melts, but instead becomes soft and pliable around 200 degrees, transforming into weird Barbie. The spacesuit is definitely starting to feel the heat now. The suit is designed to keep an astronaut alive up to 121 degrees. Soon after that, the cooling systems fail and the astronaut will no longer be with us, but the suit will still keep going with this outer layer of beta cloth melting at 343 degrees. Now it's the billionaire toys battling it out. Starship versus a nuclear bunker. It's the SpaceX rocket passengers that start to sweat first, with the aluminum frame of the Dragon capsule having a melting point of around 640 degrees. But then they remember their Pika-X heat shield has them covered, and it's actually the people hiding out in the doomsday shelter that have to worry, with their steel bunker melting at 1540 degrees. The rocket passengers are in the clear for now, but they have a challenger approach. Tantalum hafnium carbide, the substance with the highest verified melting point used for aerospace and nuclear fusion reactors. As we near and pass 2000 degrees, the Pika X starts to burn away, with the capsule melting as a result. The tantalum hafnium carbide keeps on going though, climbing higher and higher, exceeding the temperature of Earth's lower mantle in a red dwarf star, all the way to its melting point of 3942 degrees. 